let's now talk about the reticular connective tissue here is a characteristic diagram of the reticular cells and reticular cell processes which are coming out of the reticular cells so this tissue consists of star shaped reticular cells whose protoplasmic processes are joining to form a cellular network so yes these cells are moreover star shaped from which processes are there which are going to develop many processes are going to develop and these processes as a whole will help in formation of a cellular network these processes will help in communication between the neighboring cells let's assume this is cell number one and cell number two part of the reticular connective tissue they can coordinate amongst themselves by help of the processes they are composed of a protein called reticulin so reticulin is the protein that's going to form reticular connective tissue of our body the matrix and some other cells such as macrophages lymphocytes and adipose cells are also present in the reticular connective tissue we know the macrophages and lymphocytes which are important for our immune system and there are adipose cells which are fatty cells enriched with fat globules important for cushioning of our sensitive body parts the reticular connective tissue is also present in the liver in the spleen lymph nodes our thymus tonsils bone marrow and lamina propria of the gut wall so these are broadly the lymphoid organs where we are getting reticular connective tissue the reticular connective tissue is specially adopted to provide strength and support as it is forming the supporting framework of many organs so the stroma or supporting framework of many organs is formed by this particular connective tissue it provides great strength and support to these organs it also helps to bind together the cells of smooth muscles the cells of smooth muscles can be bound by help of the reticular connective tissue for as the cells the reticular cells enriched with protein reticulin have got many processes coming out of the cell which help in neighboring cell coordination and also to provide support the reticular cells are phagocytic just like we talked about macrophages and lymphocytes so the reticular cells are phagocytic in nature and form defense mechanism of the body so here you can have a characteristic view of the reticular connective tissue system